All right, let's do an example of a geometric gradient problem. And I was trying to think of one that had a decreasing um, growth rate. So I thought that that brings up a couple of issues that it's worth talking about. All right, so imagine you're putting together a bid for a neglected golf course. And in segmenting your costs, you are coming up with an estimate for weed control. So you've got a really noxious weed that has to be pulled up by hand um, in this golf course. And you have to try and figure out what that's going to cost you over a certain period of time. And so in the first year, you estimate you'll need five workers for $200 a day for three days. So let's just start out with that. That's A1. So this is the upfront cost. So that would be um, five multiplied by three days. Um, and then you've got $200 a day. So I drop my days. So the, the A1 is $3,000. You're gonna have to pay that the first year that you have the golf course. And then like many weeds, so you pull up the weed the first year, then it goes dormant, but you know you're gonna have to have a crew back next year to pull up the weed again because it's pretty persistent. However, you estimate that every year you do this, um, the cost of doing so is gonna decline by 25% a year. So you sort of gradually get on top of this problem and um, you, you anticipate that it's not always going to be as bad it is, as it is the first year. Um, your discount rate is 6%. So that's the rate at which you discount the future. Um, and what is the present value of the first 10 years of weed control? So that says weak control. Let's get rid of that guy. Um, so this is a, you know, a pretty standard problem in a way. So let's, let's um, have a go at this together. And hopefully this will make this type of problem easier to do in the future. All right, so we know A1. And what else do we have? Let's see what we've got. Maybe I'll circle them in the question. Um, we've got 10 years, so N is 10. All right, and we know that G is 20, negative 25. So this is gonna be G. Uh, it wasn't, won't let me go over there. Okay, there's the G and our discount rate, the rate at which we discount the future. This is I is 6%. So this is our N and we've got A, as we said, we had to figure that out. We've got our first year's cost and this will follow a pattern that looks like this. So this is a geometric gradient. So the costs get smaller every year. Um, for example, if we wanted to know what the cost was in a particular year, that would be a one or 3000 multiplied by one plus G um, to N minus one. So in year 10, um, we would, the um, exponent would be nine. And we could do that if we wanted to. I think that's about, I think that's $225. I did check that. So you can check that yourself if you want to, if you just want to know what, what are we spending on something in a particular year? But if we wanna know the present value and we're gonna put it into our bid on this golf course, um, we, we have the situation where I is not equal to G. Remember, I did do a simple one where I equal G and I said that's a lot simpler. So we need the full formula. P is equal to A1 divided by I minus G multiplied by one minus um, one plus G over one plus I to the N. So we can start plugging in what we know here. So the first thing to say, and this is why I wanted to do a negative one, is the G is a negative number. So um, I is 0 0.06 and G is minus 0.25. So we have a minus times a minus is a plus. So if I is 0.6, um, we have to add 0.25. So this bottom, this denominator here becomes 0.31. Uh, so that's that's why I wanted to do the negative one because sometimes people get a little um, put off by that. So this thing is gonna be um, negative, uh, sorry, this thing is gonna be 0.31 so we have uh, the, the first year's cost was $3,000. We've got 
$3,000 divided by 0 0.31 multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus um, minus 0.25 because of the negative on the G divided by um, 1 plus, um, this is 0 0.06, so 1.06. Um, so as you can see, and this would be to the power of 10. So this, so this means that the numerator here is 0.75. So 0.75 um, divided by 1.06. So we have this, so let's keep going with this. So 3,000 divided by 0.31 should give you 9,677. Uh, and then we have one minus this thing. So 0.75 divided by 1.06 to the power of 10 is um, 0 0.031445. So we need to multiply 9677 by this. And this thing is um, 0.96855. So if we do that, so 9,677 multiplied by 0.96855, we come up with 9,373. So what we found is that if you had some kind of um, situation where maybe you were paying costs uh, associated with a piece of property or something else, and that you expected them to decrease over the um, a period of time, you can come up with an estimate of the present value. And especially if you haven't don't already own the property, you could um, build that into your bid. So you say, well, th this is one of the things I'm going to have to um, account for when I'm uh, estimating how much I should bid on the property. All right, so that's it. That's a geometric gradient problem. Obviously, a lot of these problems that you'll see in the books, they tend to be increasing. So I thought we would do a decreasing gradient problem for a change with a negative G.